Hi boys and girls, today is Friday, May 1st, 2020. I am working in your packet again for Go Math. I am in lesson 10.2. If you take a look at the calendar that I'm making, uh, today is Friday, May 1st, day five. It says lesson 10.2, pages 568 and 569. So those are the two pages I'm gonna do today. Um, I already wrote on the sheet because I had uh, done another video, but it didn't really go through the way that I wanted it to. So everything's already filled in, and I am still gonna go through every single problem with you step by step, and then you can just fill in what I filled in, and uh, we'll just go from there. Again, everything you see on this worksheet is on that video I sent on Monday. I believe it was Monday or Tuesday, the Go Math video. All of the questions are the same ones that were in the video. So they should be a little familiar to you. So let's begin. It says, tell time afternoon. It says, Callie's family is going for a canoe ride at three o'clock in the afternoon. How should Callie write the time? So here they're telling you noon is 12 o'clock in the daytime. The times after noon and before midnight are written with p.m. Well, if they went canoeing at three o'clock in the afternoon, keyword, we know they went at three o'clock p.m. So make sure you have that written. And then it goes on to say, so Callie should write the time as three o'clock p.m. Then over here, they show the clock and they're just explaining that afternoon and before midnight represents p.m. So as soon as you start the afternoon and go all the way into the evening and right before the clock strikes midnight, that is p.m. All right, let's go to the middle of the page and you'll see here um, it says, Name two things you do in the morning, or excuse me, two things you do in the a.m. hours, and name two things you do in the p.m. hours. Now, you could have done this on your own, or you can do it right now and pause the video and talk with your parents about things you do in the a.m. and things you do in the p.m. Here are some examples that I wrote. So, for example, a.m., I said we uh, sleep. If you're a student, you might walk to school or take the bus. For me, I may get in my car to drive to school. And of course, we eat breakfast. Important meal of the day. PM, you may come home and do your homework. Ms. Harling would come home and maybe start dinner. You would maybe go outside and play for a little while. I might go out and take a short walk. And you definitely into the evening would be getting ready for bed to go to sleep. And I would as well. Now, down here for number two, three, and four, they want you to write the time for the activity using AM or PM. Now, again, you've got hints to help you. It says, ride a bicycle. So when you looked at this clock, you should have found the time is 420. That was pretty easy. The shorthand is basically right near the four. It's kind of between four and five, but it's the four o'clock hour. And then all you had to do was skip count by fives because the long hand, the minute hand is right on the four. It's 420, but it's 420 p.m. Number three, make a sandwich. Now that one could be a little tricky. That's why they have um, a check mark there. But it says um, the time represents 1134 and if you need to see that up close, how I did it, or I'm gonna show you how I did it. Here is the 11 o'clock hour, it's between 11 and 12, but it's not 12 o'clock yet. And then I can skip count by fives, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's not quite on the 35 or on the seven, it's one minute before. So that's how I got 11.34 and then because I'm making a sandwich. I usually make sandwiches at 11.34 a.m. because that's kind of uh, mid-morning. That might be a time that you go to lunch in school. So a.m. makes more sense. Number four, it says get ready for bed. There's your hint. It's 8.12. What makes sense is 8.12 p.m. All right, moving along to number five. It says, this morning, Sam woke up at the time shown on this clock. Write the time as a.m. or p.m. So again, you have a clock 
ladies and gentlemen, that you can see here, it's almost the eight o'clock hour, but not quite. It's still seven o'clock, but now we have to figure out the minutes. So Ms. Harlan counted around zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I put a 50 minute mark there. And then I had to count the ticks before 11 and the exact time is 7.53. How do I know it's a.m.? Because it said this morning Sam woke up. I believe I remember seeing that one in the video. I think it was 6.57 a.m. that he woke up. So you see how they have the same problems on your worksheet, but they changed the times and the numbers a little bit. But I remember seeing this problem on the GoMath uh, video that I showed you earlier this week. So here's the math talk at the bottom. Um, I usually don't always do the math talk, but I try to do it, you know, from time to time to time because math is not just about numbers. It's about reading carefully information. So they're asking you a question here. It says, apply how do you know or how do you decide whether to use a.m. or p.m. when you write the time? Well, you have to remember in order to use a.m., it has to be something that happens after midnight and before noon, that's when you would use a.m. When would you use p.m.? If something happens after 12 o'clock noon and before midnight. So I'm gonna read those to you again to make sure you understand. A.m. is only used if something happens after midnight and before noon. P.m. is used if something happens after noon and before midnight. All right, now let's go to the next page. This is now page 569, because those are the two pages Ms. Harling's doing. Again, this is chapter 10, lesson two. So 10.2, page 569. At the top, it says, on your own. So it says, write the time for the activity using a.m. or p.m. Again, I already filled this out because I had done another video, but it didn't work out. So I didn't want to erase everything. I'm just going to go through every question with you, every problem. So number six says, eating breakfast. We know it's 717. That's a digital clock. How do we know it's a.m.? Because we usually eat breakfast in the morning. Number seven, have science class. Look at the time, it should be easy to figure out. You have the shorthand between the one and the two, it's still the one o'clock hour. It will be moving closer to the two as time goes on, but it is still one o'clock and the shorthand is directly on the four. So it's 20 minutes that have gone by because we know we can skip count by fives. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20. So it's 120, but if we're having science class, that would be 120 p.m. Make sure you're writing this down. If I'm going too fast again, you know what to do. You can pause the video and then start it up again when you're ready. Number eight, it says play softball. Well, again, we know it's the four o'clock hour because it's really on the four and that four o'clock hour has just begun. But if you zoom in or if I zoom in, you can see boys and girls, we have to find the exact minute. And after the one is five minutes that have gone by and then you count the ticks in between, which uh, make one minute and there's three of them past the one. So it's 408. Okay, so let me go back to that. Let my camera adjust here. So it's four o'clock. How do we know it's PM? Because you're playing softball. Maybe you are on a team and you have practice or you have a game. So that would be after school. That would be 4.08 PM. All right, now look at number nine, 10, 11, and 12, and I'll show each one. But they again want you to use AM or PM, but they also want you to figure out what time it is. So they're actually asking you to do two steps. Um, I'm gonna, I've given you the answers, but I am gonna practice some more of that on a clock. 
I did order a clock, like I said to you the other day, and it did come in. There's my handy dandy big clock, and I will be using that next week to kind of show you how to tell time using an actual clock. And I know on that uh, math packet, um, it has uh, some clocks on there that you can play around with and, you know, figure out minutes and hours. All right, so number nine says quarter after nine in the morning. A quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. This is something I will be going over on that big clock I just showed you because I want to make sure you understand what these words mean. These were some of the vocabulary that was on uh, that vocabulary triangle that I did with you on the first day. So nine in the morning, quarter after nine means 9.15. It's in the morning, so it's a.m. Number 10, it shows you six minutes after seven in the morning. We know that's 7.06, so we just put a.m. Now, number 11, again, you got to figure out this time and then figure out if it's a.m. or p.m. It says Mark is taking a trip on an airplane. His flight leaves at 24 minutes before 9 using a.m. or p.m. At what time does Mark's flight leave? Well, you should be saying 8.36 a.m. Because if you add 24 and 36 together, that would give you the 9 o'clock hour. So again, it's only 8.36, but he went on his flight in the morning, so it's a.m. Number 12, Jeannie's class ate lunch, or Jenny's class, excuse me, ate lunch 18 minutes before noon each day. Using a.m. or p.m., write the time that Jenny's class ate lunch. 11.42 is your answer. In 18 minutes, it will be noon, but it says 18 minutes before noon. So you know it's not the noon o'clock hour. It's not 12 noon. So the answer is 11.42. We usually eat lunch in the uh, late morning, so it's a.m. All right. Number 13, it says daylight savings time begins on the second uh, Sunday in March at 2 o'clock in the morning. Write the time. Your answer should be 2 o'clock and it should be a.m. In the morning is your key words. And I'm going to do number 14 and not 15, so you can cross that one out. It says go deeper. Jane and her dad are using their new telescope to look at the stars. They start looking at the stars at 23 minutes after 9 and stopped looking at the stars at 10 minutes after 10. Using AM or PM, at what time did they start and stop looking at the stars? So again, I was able to figure that out for you and I wrote it down. So 23 minutes after 9, I underlined and you know that that's 9.23 p.m. Because the only time of the day that you can see the stars out in the sky is at night. Then it says they stopped looking at the stars at 10 minutes after 10. Well, they stopped looking at the stars is important. They were looking at them at 9.23 and they stopped at 10.10. It's still that they were looking at stars, so it's still nighttime. So your answer should be 10.10 p.m. Okay, my friends, we are done for today. Again, on my calendar, I showed you today is Friday, day five, lesson 10.2. I only did two pages, 568 and 569. And you'll notice here, I wrote for Saturday, the same thing that's on your calendar. You should play a board game with your family if you can. If not, I heard that this weekend is supposed to be pretty nice. I hope you get outside, I'm sure you will. Ride your bike, take a walk. I'm definitely going to be out. I'm going to be smelling the grass, looking at the tulips, and just enjoying some sunshine. So I hope that you do that as well. And I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.